Can tuberculosis help treat bladder cancer? Hi, I'm Mahitha, I'm a fourth year urology resident and this is one of my favorite topics to discuss. The answer is yes, a live attenuated version of tuberculosis called Bacillus calamit-garin, which is the same kind of strain that they give in the BCG vaccine in other countries, can be used to help delay the progression of bladder cancer. But not all bladder cancer, so whom do we give it to and how does it work? From a urology perspective, when somebody is diagnosed with bladder cancer, we are interested in one main thing. Has the bladder cancer reached the muscle or not? Because that defines the kinds of treatments that we are able to give. The bladder has three layers. The first layer is the mucosa layer, which is in direct contact with the P that it's holding. Then underneath that is the lamin appropriate layer. It's a connective tissue layer. And then underneath that is the muscle. If the bladder cancer has reached the muscle, that's a certain set of treatments. But if the bladder cancer has not yet reached the muscle, it is still considered non-muscle invasive. And we can use bladder sparing treatments or intravesical treatments that are given directly into the bladder via a Foley catheter. And one of those treatments is a solution that contains a live attenuated strain of tuberculosis called BCG. BCG is thought to cause an inflammatory reaction in the bladder that recruits immune cells to get rid of leftover bladder cancer cells. It can delay the progression of bladder cancer by up to 50%. Per our guidelines, an induction course of BCG is receiving six installations, one given each week for six weeks. Depending on the features of the tumor, some people may even receive installations up to three years. And each installation sits in the bladder for two hours. And even during, in between, after these BCG treatments, urologists are taking a look inside these patients' bladders to make sure that the tumor hasn't come back. While BCG is great, it's not perfect. It can be really irritating and painful for some folks. Some folks can get urinary tract infections or bleeding that need to be treated before the next installation. Currently, the largest issue is that there's a BCG shortage and not everybody's able to get the full treatment. While we're trying to get more strains approved, there are other treatments that are coming on the market that hope to be just as effective as BCG, if not better. Read the caption to learn more about them and let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments.